Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Asher, and thank you for joining me for a card pack opening in Hearthstone. I do these from time to time, and occasionally I will stream some Hearthstone games, which I haven't really had too much of a chance to do here lately. I've been pretty busy switching jobs and whatnot, but I wanted to do this one to celebrate the Whispers of the Old Gods expansion launching, and I have 69 packs for us to open today, and I've been waiting for this until I could actually record doing it, and I am awfully excited. So let's get right into the pack opening. So there we have it. We get Cthune right off the bat just for joining as well as his Beckoners of Evil. And pack number 69. Let's hope for a few legendaries out of this. Pow. I really like the opening animation of the, how the eyeball pops there. Uh, no advocacy legendaries on that one. Got a Disciple already. So these Disciples, I've... I played the day it launched, like an hour after it launched. Those things were already rampant. Those disciples are so powerful. Okay, bunch of commons. What's we got? What's we got? Ooh, a two rare pack. Okay. Nothing. I guess the new muster for battle, basically, without the weapon part of it. Come on, good cards. Yeah. Come on, what's we got? I feel like I'm going to the casino. Oh, golden rare, corrupted heal bot. I don't know, know if he's uh, worth using. Maybe in like a a pre deck that's running Akunai or something like that would be fairly useful. Eight damage to face and whatnot. Ooh, golden common dust board that I will never use. Hooray! All right. Lucky number 63. Yeah. Ooh, a golden disciple. All right. I'll rock that. 62. Hmm. Eh. That Faceless Behemoth, that 10 10 for 10, that thing is so useless. I have, I see no reason why you would ever want to run that. Oh, got an epic Bladed Cthulhu. Destroy a minion, add its attack and health to Cthulhu. That guy is pretty sick. Pretty dope indeed. It's an Assassinate for 9 mana, but you get a 4 4 body on the board and you're buffing Cthulhu. Eh, two shatters. I think. Playing Freeze Mage with throw a Shatter in there might actually work out fairly well. I'm not sure what you would be using Shatter on because you're freezing all their big stuff so they can't move anyways. Double rares. I think that's the same uh, the do same double rares that I got last time. And not a whole lot good going on there. Good going on there. Another faceless behemoth. I think I've got three of those so far. Oh, got the epic. Blood Warriors. Yay. Wasn't really excited about that. Add a copy of each damage friendly minion into your hand. So it's Echo Medivh, except the stuff has to be damaged, so it's even less reliable. I'm not. I can't think of a good use of that card unless you're like whirlwinding and then doing it, but even then, it's just the setup for that. Dark Erico, that is a common, but that is a very powerful Druid Guard for any type of Druid Cthune deck. 5, 7, 6 with Taunt. Give Cthune plus 3, plus 3. Very nice. Oh, another epic. Renounce Darkness. Yeah, boy. So that's kind of a fun card to play around with. What it does is uh, replaces all your class cards with another class's cards and replaces your hero power as well. Oh, a golden faceless behemoth because I totally need that. And forbidden agent. Yay. I'm not sure how he would be that useful because he gets plus one, plus one for every mana that you have. So, ooh, golden rare and golden common. Oh, I like that art on the Shadow Word Horror. Huh. That's actually pretty nifty. Destroy all minions with two or less attack. Yeah, boy. Um, 
Oh, yeah, the Forbidden guy. Whatever that one was. It, if you have five mana, you he costs one mana to play, so you play him. He'll get plus one, plus one for every mana that you have left, so he becomes a... What is that? A five, five for four? Is that right? One, one. Have four mana left. Plus one, plus one. Five, five for four. I mean, I guess if you look at it that way, or am I doing that math backwards? It might be like four, four for five. I don't know. Oh, oh, I got the frame wreath faceless. So this is probably the most overpowered card I've ever fucking seen. Four mana, seven, seven, when all it is is just two overload. Yeah, I'm going to be rocking that. I've been playing quite a bit of Shaman here lately, and I, with the cards that have been released, I do not see that changing anytime soon. If I don't get it, I'm going to be crafting the... Uh, the randomizer the evolve card because that thing is just it's incredibly powerful being able to turn everything into a minion that costs one more mana than what it is that's some that's some good stuff there double rares okay another good druid card for a Cthune deck druid Cthune looks like it's gonna be really strong Ooh. forbidden flame spend all your mana deal that much damage to a minion absolutely useless I can do that with a fireball. And that hits face too. And it costs less mana to do that to do that much damage. There's one Master of Evolution, transform a friendly minion into a random one that costs one more. That's just a, a minion that does it, and it's a four five for four, so that's a Yeti with a battle cry. So it's automatically more powerful than a Yeti. And Yetis were already pretty good. Oh, got us an epic. Ooh, the Blood of the Ancient One. Control two of these at the end of your turn. Merge them into the Ancient One, which is a 30-30 minion. So the dream would be doing that with a Faceless. So you can get it out immediately. I I wonder if there's a deck that actually could actually revolve around that. Probably. I don't know what it would be, but I bet it, I'm sure it's out there. Someone's going to try to make that work. Another... Faceless Behemoth, God. Oh. Mm, yeah. Down to 40, so we've gone through about 30 now. Oh, Primal Fusion. I think that's one of them I will not run in the Shaman deck, but we'll have to see. Because I know I'm going to be using the... Um, the one who summons the totems out, so I'll have quite a few down. And I got another Primal Fusion there, so... I mean, it's one mana to give, even if you have just two, that's not bad. You'll give get one threes and two twos out of it, or even one fours. But if you have two out... Uh, it's, I'm sorry, it's just one minion, so... I can choose a minion for each one of my totems. I can give it plus one, plus one. So that's basically plus three, plus three. If you've got three totems out for one mana, which is not a bad deal. It just seems like a lot of setup to actually get that right. We'll see, though. But I'm pretty sure Shaman's going to be my, my go-to class. Another Blood of the Ancient one. Awesome. I play a whole lot more Hearthstone than when I actually do videos on. I usually just play it on my phone or just in downtime. It's not something I really record or anything. It's just kind of one of my leisure activities. I should probably... Oh, I got two on the huns already. I should probably actually start streaming that a little bit more. Let you guys watch while I'm playing. I'm by no means an expert Hearthstone player. I mean, I in Constructed, I think the highest I ever got was like rank 10. Ooh! Twin Emperor, so for a Cthune deck, that is a must have. Yeah, buddy. It's not a bad legendary to get. Anyways, um, I've got to about rank 10 and constructed, and I have got 12 arena wins one time. So I'm by no means the worst Hearthstone player who's ever existed, but I'm definitely not on the level of some of the other streamers. I do enjoy playing it quite a bit, though. I should probably do that more. Now that I, I'm working a different job, uh, the rate of videos is definitely going to drop again. And I apologize for that. It's just not feasible for me to put out a high volume of video content and working 40 plus hours a week. I just, 
I simply can't do it. Have to have time for the family and stuff too, so. I apologize for that, but I will still, when I can, when I get a chance. I should, I'm hoping I can st at least still do it one a week. That's kind of my goal, now that I'm working. One video a week seems fairly feasible. Possibly more, maybe less. I don't know, it just depends on if I get the creative bugs strike me. Oh, we got three in that one. Three rares in that one, and one of them's a golden rare. Nice. I know I just did my comparison video. That was the last one that I did. Got an epic, okay. And I enjoyed doing that one. It took a lot more work than what I usually have to do. There was a lot of editing involved and a lot of learning how to do that editing, actually. Definitely not a pro video editor, but I'm still learning, still picking up a few things here and there. But those three games in particular, uh, prob mostly Overwatch, if I'm honest. I'll be when that comes out, I'll be playing quite a bit of that. I might have to do some streams of that or put out some highlight videos or you know something along those lines. Cabalist Kab Kabalist Tome is probably my favorite mage card out of this whole set. Five mana adds three random mage spells to your hand. That's some serious value. Three cards for five mana and they can they're not coming out of your deck. Great and yeah, they're random, but that's a very powerful card. You can actually Cabalist into Cabalist as well. It's actually a fairly high chance of happening. Got another one. Eternal Sentinel. Unlock your overload of mana crystals. And it's just a 3-2 for 2. So, he's probably going in my Shaman deck. I can almost guarantee you the internal is going to go into the Shaman deck. Meh. Lots of meh. So, I was watching a streamer the other day. I was watching Crip, actually. And he had an interesting tactic that I don't know why it didn't cross my mind. But he does not disenchant his cards he hangs on to the duplicates so when something like the recent nerf that just happened then when <laughs> since you get full cost of dust for the cards that they nerfed you have nine copies of the things oh golden rare claxi amber weaver yeah very good card for druid then you get a ton of dust out of it because you have so many copies and you're getting it at full cost. So that's a really good idea. Ooh, Cyclopean Horror. He's this guy right here, Cyclopean Horror. He's if aggro decks are still taken off, this guy's gonna be the bane of aggro decks because you got three minions out on turn four. I just dropped this guy right here. It's like, oh, I got three seven for four mana. What's up? Yeah, I like him quite a bit. He's going to be fairly niche. Depends on how the meta evolves. Two rare? Two rare pack? Got another disciple. Anyways, while the card hoarding is a fairly good strategy, I typically... I've never had all the cards. I usually have a good, uh, good amount of them, but I don't like waiting. If I want to try a deck out, I use my dust a lot to craft the specific cards that I need to do so. Got my second Eternal Sentinel there, so the Shaman deck is definitely going to be happening. Ooh, a Golden Infested Tauren. 2 3 for 4 7 the 2 2 Slime. I don't know if he's going to be worth it or not. I mean, it's it's more or less a Harvest Golem for one more mana to get one more health on the Slime that's summoned. I don't really think that's worth it. In that slot, in the 4 or 5 slot, there's just so many other better options. Oh, and the, uh, the, uh, Amgar, or Amgam Rager, the Magmar's, Magma Rager's ugly cousin there, completely useless. What else we got? Another epic, Scaled Nightmare. So, if I end up running a dragon deck, he's gonna be real nice. Six mana at the start of your turn, double this minion's attack. That's going to be fun to play around with. I bet you there's going to be decks out there that try it just for him to try to make him work. Whoa, Power Word Tentacles and Squirming Tentacles. This is the most hentai card pack I've ever seen. Jesus. 
We've got Feral Rage, Two Squirming Tentacles, Power Word Tentacles, and Thing from Below. Yeah. That is ridiculous. That's a lot of tentacles, guys. <laughs> Thing from below. Also, if you're run, if you're summoning a lot of totems, which I believe also counts for the Tuskar Totemnik, if you play him, that would be a totem that you've summoned. I think if that interacts with it, that makes that card a whole lot better. If not, playing totems is fairly bad for tempo, but I still think that card is fairly decent. Even if you've only played two totems that game, that's a four mana cost five five with taunt. So. Pretty beastly. I'm telling you, man. Shaman is going to be the deck to beat in this expansion. They got so many good cards. Ah, I got a golden thistle tea. Nice. Alright. Another, another faceless. Jesus. Down to the last five. Can we get another legendary? Come on, a legendary. Double rare with a couple of shatters to go with. Come on, legendary. I've got an epic. Shadowcaster. Shadowcaster is scary. Shadowcaster, choose a friendly minion, add a 1 1 copy to your hand that costs 1. So anything with a really powerful effect, Shadowcaster is going to be amazing on. I can, I can see it now having two. Ragnaros Light Lords out there with a 1 1 copy, so you're getting healed for 16 every turn or some ridiculousness like that. It's insane. Mm, a whole lot of nada. Except the Prophet. The Prophet was in there. And Prophet's a really powerful card, too. Especially with the Evolves. Another Baseless Behemoth. And the final pack out of the 69 packs is going to have no legendaries and no epics. Story of my life. Well, that was fun. Opening card packs is always fun. Uh, real quick, let's take a look at my collection here. So, 69 packs. I have 5,400 dust currently. And I have enough duplicates to get another 1,100 dust. So, quite a few in there. Give me that dust. Alright, let me take a look at Shaman here. See what we're missing. Evolve for sure. That's just a rare too. I can't believe I didn't get any of those. So, we're crafting both of those most definitely. Alright, got two Evolves. Hmm. Elemental destruction probably is not going to be needed. Stormcrack, I'm eh, not really feeling yet. Charge Tamer, definitely not. Oh, whenever your spells deal damage, restore that much health to your hero. The new legendary. Uh, I don't envision myself playing a whole lot of spells. At least not with Halazil on the field. I mean, that's kind of a... If I'm playing a lot of spells quickly, then that's probably when I'm killing you. Hammer of Twilight, though. Summon a 4-2 elemental on a weapon. I'm going to craft that. I'm just craft one right now. But I like this card quite a bit. It's such an upswing on tempo. Even though it's a 5-mana weapon with 4 attack... Because that second swing also gives you a creature afterwards, I think it's a very powerful card, and I'm it's definitely going to be including at least one in the Shaman deck that I'm going to be building here in the near future. Grab me another Master of Evolution. There we go. And... Hmm... What should I craft? Anything that I absolutely need right now. Shifter Zeris, I think, might work out fairly well in the Shaman deck that I have in mind. Maybe. Simply because I can evolve them into something else. Hmm. Nope. Got 
the Emperor, so... Should I craft one of the old gods? Hmm. Maybe. Now, I think I'm going to hold off on crafting those because I kind of want to... I want to figure out which ones become fairly powerful and I don't want to waste my dust on that on one that's not so I'm going to kind of hang on to it I'm very curious into trying to make a dragon control deck I used to I still have one a dragon warrior deck that I like that was a control deck and with some of the new dragon cards that were added I think that could have some serious potential although I don't really think I lost any dragons that were in that deck. Not that I can think of, at least. But I did gain a few. Quite a few. So, Midnight Drake, pretty shit, to be honest. That four health slot is not that great. But the Scaled Nightmare, that's going to be a nice addition to that. Because if you're playing Control, you, it's a fairly likely that you can keep him alive. Grotesque Dragonhawk, not so much. But I think maybe with Dra Deathwing Dragonlord, he could make some pretty fun plays. Although, if you've gotten to that point, you're probably going to win anyways. But yeah, I enjoyed playing that deck quite a bit. I can't remember what I lost in it. Is it Varian? Might have been Varian. Yeah, I was running Varian in it, and Varian's not in it anymore, I don't believe. Wait a minute. No, I'm crazy. He's right there. Never mind. Scratch that. Don't mind me. I don't know what I'm talking about. But some of the new cards that Warriors have, like the Ancient Shield Bear, man, Control Warrior's just fun to play. But I think that's going to that's gonna do it, guys. That was my 69 card pack opening video extravaganza with a little bit extra tidbits and a slight channel update. If you guys would like to see more content in the future, albeit going to be a, a slower than it has been the past few weeks going forward, then give me a subscribe, give me a like if you did like this video, or a dislike if you didn't. And until next time, guys, my name is Asher. And I'll see you then. Take it easy.